Thanks to Black Spot Pete, we've got a lead on Ruddy Lou Stowe's treasure. It's buried somewhere on Dagger Island, a landmass many leagues from our current position. To make the voyage, we'll need to steal a pirate ship from the harbor. No easy feat given the cutthroat nature of these cutthroats. First, Murray and Sly will steal a jolly boat and blast the rudders off any ships that could chase us out into the open ocean. The action is sure to provoke the harbor patrol, so be prepared for a sea battle. With them out of the way, no one could stop us from leaving harbor. Meanwhile, Penelope and I will work together to break into Lafouille's keep and steal the map to the buried treasure. Once both objectives are reached, we'll steal a ship and set sail for Dagger Island. Then it'll be a simple matter of following the map and digging up the loot. I I like the sound of a naval battle. This actually could be a fun chapter if we don't have any more of that racing crap again. Anything new? Not that I really have the money for it. Okay, Bit uh, eh, start off with Bentley since he's the one with the job. I want to do the naval battle. So, actually, no, Murray's the one with the... Yeah, Bentley has one too, I'm gonna say. Oh, that's right, Bentley does have that ability, doesn't he? The quadruple jump. Considering how high these buildings are, that's gonna come in quite handy. Okay, Penelope, I'm in position with your hover spectrometer. I'll launch the device and you scan for metal structures that resemble a safe or chest, anything the treasure map might be stored in. Roger, Bentley. Let's light this candle. Be still, my heart. She made an obscure NASA reference. Why do the girls always have to go for Sly? It's just not fair. What was that? I didn't reach ya. Oh, um, nothing. I was just saying that we've got fair winds for liftoff. Let's do it! The data's coming in. It's caching in the spectrometer's matrix. <laughs> what matter of witchcraft is that? Ah, well, best to shoot first and uh, ponder later. No! We haven't downloaded yet! Ah, the pieces are still intact! The disk is shattered, but we can still retrieve the data. But it's broken! And I rig all my gear to self-destruct if anyone tries to take it after a malfunction. Hmm, the disk will destroy itself if someone tries to pick it up. Aha! What if we could read the disk's contents before touching it? Right! I could use my RC card and go out and collect the data. It's got the same code base as a disk and should be able to download its contents. That's it! Use the card to recover all of the data and then we'll know where to strike inside the skull keep. Really? RC car right now? I want to do a naval battle. RC car... Oh, then again, that little UFO type thing wasn't really that piratey either. Where do we even need to go? Where's it at? Need to find it first. And following this path isn't going to be the way. Um, I'm guessing it's somewhere up here because the little marker is saying that, but I don't know. Do you gotta say though, Penelope Pit Stop sure does have some interesting gadgets. Makes me wonder what other types of toys she has. Run into it or? Nice driving, Penelope. I'm registering a partial download from that portion of the disc. Okay, so she just wants us to run over it. Pirates are pretty keyed up after seeing the hover disc. They seem awfully scared of technology. Your RC car is sure to attract attention. Yeah, I don't know what Bentley is smoking, but these guys aren't afraid of technology. They are outright angry at it, seeing as how they're trying to destroy it right now. If they were afraid of it, they'd be running away when I went towards them. Thankfully, they're all nearby. Don't fall, you suck. Now I'm going to have to hope I can get back up there. Okay, that's actually a little off-putting, having jars like that puffing out blue smoke. I'm assuming that's going to be for a later mission. I don't know, just RC cars just seems really out of place. Oh, uh, it's right here. 
Maybe it's just me. But I just, I don't know, whatever. Don't fall again, you stupid RC. No, no, no. Good, he falls, I don't. I'm okay with that. As long as this thing does not blow up when he touches it. Just touch it, that's all you need to do. Yeah, I don't like this RC car. I liked it in the previous chapters, but right now, not a fan. It's too finicky. I don't even know where I'm going. I need a mini-map. And he's a little bit too powerful for me. How many shots does he take? Just run him down. Alright, so there's one right there. And where are the last two? I think I see one up there. Hopefully I can get there before I die. Or was that one? I don't know. Might have just been one of those trap things. The radar says yes, but... Okay, one right there. They're both on that building, aren't they? The one I fell off of. Of course. That's my luck. I didn't see when I was up there the first time, but... They're gonna be up there now. Alright, I know about that one. Where's that last one? Can I even... No, I was there a second ago. I drove over that one spot. Actually, no, that's not in the building, is it? Well, then where is it? Don't fall. Don't fall, don't... God, uh... You know, I had high expect... I had high expectations for this chapter. I was thinking, oh, pirates, pirates is gonna be fun! I love pirates! And then what happens? We get a race where we have to reach a certain marker and not just stop the guy. And along the path, there are two things that completely screw you over. One, a building where if you try and go over, there's no place to actually jump on, so you waste a lot of time. And then two, that boat that's extremely slick, and if you don't jump on the right spot, you're gonna slide off. And then you got this RC mission with a car that does not know how to make tight turns. All the turns are so wide, that when you're trying to get something on top of one of these buildings, you end up falling off. Please let this be good enough! Oh, thank God. That does it. We should have all of the spectrometer data. Hold on. Hold on. I got it. There's a massive chest near the top east-facing windows. Let's go. Son, I am disappoint. Hopefully this, this chapter picks up, though. Because I don't want to have a bad feeling about this entire chapter. It's pirates, after all! This Lafui guy is really on it. He must have seen the desk and raised all the bridges to the fort. There's no way in. I've dealt with guys like this before. They can't really trust their own men, so they always keep an escape route handy. You just have to look around a little. Wow, Sly's really taught you a lot. Sly? We're a team. In case you haven't noticed, I'm the brains of the operation. He's just a field man. Just a field man? Sounds like you're jealous. Well, yeah. I wish I wasn't in this chair. I wish I could run on tight ropes and jump on flag poles and all that stuff. But I can't. You can do other stuff. Sly can't rewire a satellite or write ASCII code. Sly can't even spell ASCII. Yeah, he's not the most technical guy. Hey, let's get moving. We won't find the back entrance just standing around. Oh, oh sorry about that standing comment. Give me a break, Penelope. It's just an expression. Yeah, I'll find the back door, all right. <laughs> Oi. Yeah, I kind of wish he could do some of those abilities, too. Oh, my God. They're actually moving a little bit more than I thought they would. Actually, that wasn't so bad. 
put you to sleep. Wait, what was the button again? Yeah, I haven't really used Bentley all that much, much so I kind of forgot the buttons to attack. Now where? I guess I'll just follow the boxes. Why not? Ah, there's the next marker. I mean, Bentley is still decent at platforming. He's not that bad. Especially with its quadruple jump. Actually, Penelope is worse than I am. She keeps falling in the water. I hear her. The door here is locked, but you should be able to bomb the support to that upper walkway. No. Oh, okay, I'll bomb this then. Just hopefully that thing doesn't follow me. Bomb this one too? Why not? Don't even have to ask. I'm all about destruction. Actually, that's Murray, but... Shh! That must be Lafui! Let's get up to where no one will spot us. Agree. I'll tell you something by thunder. That disc in the sky was just the beginning. But sir, tis gone. Them bridges is up and all's as clear as morning. Sure, sure. Every man's entitled to their opinion. But I don't want to hear no more of them. Second mate Jones. Yes, sir. You're now promoted to Captain of the Guard. Th th thank you, sir. Double the patrols and keep an eye out. There's the storm blowing in. I'll be just inside torturing the prisoners. Call out if you need help. No, sir. I, I mean, I, I, sir. Aye, we got them British pirates. Ooh, he's got something I can steal. I see it blowing. Get inside with these pirates guarding the door. Time for a little swashbuckling. Well, I'm gonna need a sword if I'm gonna do some swashbuckling. That or I could just put them all to sleep. And completely miss. Okay, you to sleep. Yeah. Hopefully this isn't going to work well. Actually, it might. It just depends if they fall into my traps. Right there. Come on. Follow. Stay. Good dog. Sit. Okay, that just overshot the mark. I'm like throwing these things. I'm supposed to be dropping them. What I should be doing right now is going into first-person mode and putting them to sleep. But, oh, you have got to be kidding. Huh? No! I have to go all the way around to get back up there? Please tell me there's at least a trampoline somewhere. I'm begging you. I will kill myself if I have to, just so I can respawn up there. I am not doing all that again. Screw it. Of course he puts me right here. Yeah, this chapter is uh, not getting on my good side. Started off fine. I mean, I, I was in a good mood. I felt good about pirates, and then it kind of went all downhill from there. Admittedly, that was kind of my fault. I will admit to that. I got myself pushed off the building. I should have been more careful of my surroundings. <sighs> but the last two missions haven't really been that great. Just putting that out there. Oh, come on. He should have been put to sleep. That hit him right on the mark. Okay, two for one. Maybe a three for one. Make sure he's out cold. And I should have been paying more attention to my health as well. Fantastic! And of course he hit the ridge. 
Am I even supposed to be fighting these guys, or am I supposed to be doing something else? You know what, let's see if I can knock him off the building. That might be a lot easier than trying to attack him another way. Just push him off. Off you pop. There. That all of them? No, there's one left. Hopefully after I take care of him... Come on, show up. Stop taking cover. Really? Fine. Now that they're all dead... I wasn't supposed to be doing this, was I? Because he just respawned. He wasn't here a second ago. Not too shabby, Bentley. Not bad at all. Now, here's the hoping this chapter picks up. Hmm, looks like a standard double button latch system. On three, in pirate. One, two, three. This must be it. I've never seen a security chest so thick with traps. I don't know. Looks pretty straightforward. If I had my spanner set, this would be a cinch. Really? Let's head back to the safe house and get your tools. I'd like to stay here if you don't mind and study it some more. Sure, I'll be back in a flash. Just please, I'm begging you, drop the drawbridges so I don't have to go all the way around again. I've got your spanners and I'm on my way back. Great! But I think I've already got it. This is it! The Dagger Island treasure map. She just wanted to get rid of us. Ah! My eyes! Oh, I can see some kind of blinding dust. Flash grenade! of something perfect i'm sure she won't mind if i take the turret off her car hurry bentley i'm getting kind of scared here hang tight i've got a new and improved grapple cam on the way no i hate the grapple cam the grapple cam sucks i was hoping that the game would be picking up after that and then it continues to taunt and torment me why must the pirate level be like this it's so strenuous to use and annoying and... Oh, I hate this thing. Because there, there are many times where you end up hitting something and it ends up blocking your path. Like right now, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be stuck. Okay, now where is she? She's all the way up there? Don't worry, Penelope. The pulleys holding up the bridges were too tough to take out with my sleep darts. So I upgraded my grapple cam with one of your RC turrets. I should be able to blast them to pieces. Oh, hey. I heard the bridges fall, but I'm not sure I can make it back to the safe house blinded like this. I'll make a bird call through the grapple cam speaker. The guards won't think anything of it, and you'll be able to follow the sound back to the safe house. Okay. Just don't get too far away or I won't hear him. Oh, thank God that enemy right there disappeared. Sure. <laughs> so now we got an escort mission. This chapter just continues to dive that knife into me. I hear ya. I will say this, at least the first half of the grapple cam wasn't as bad as I was expecting it to be because in China it was just torturous. And please let me kill this guy. Please, I'm begging you. Because he's going to kill Penelope. He's going to turn that corner. He's going to kill her. So I got to take him out first. And I don't want to get too close to him either because he'll spot me and then he'll start shooting at me. 
Hopefully this is good enough. And apparently my aim sucks. Even though I was right on him. Her machine gun is not that accurate, put it that way. I'm in motion. Yeah, you're right in front of the thing too. Okay. Moving to your Drop position. down. Well, that's some good news. We don't have to worry about her going all the way around. She doesn't know how to drop. Inch our way forward. Okay. Now here's something I didn't consider. How or where exactly am I? Here I come. Okay, can I get back to my ship or my uh, car from right there? Sure. Are are we up that bridge or is that us? I gotcha. No, that's not us. Where are we? See, I should have been paying attention to that. We're on that boat, are we? See, I don't know which boat we're on. Which makes things a little bit more difficult than they need to be. Um, yeah, where are we again? See, if I am to self-destruct myself right now, does that screw up the mission? Yes, it does. Okay, I want to know exactly where we're located. Now who's shooting at me? Well, someone's shooting. Wait, is that Penelope right there? Oh, thank God, yes! We don't have to do it all the way from the start. I just have to find some way to get her up there. So that, I thought, see, I thought we were on a ship. I thought we were on a boat. I didn't know we were in front of that building right there. Okay. I will completely take the blame for that one. I should have been paying attention to where we were, but I just assumed that we were on a boat. See, that's the reason I self-destructed myself. I wanted to know the location of Bentley. Where'd she go? Oh, right there. Here I come. Okay, so if I'm not mistaken, as long as we just go around like this... I'm coming. Unless... Is Bentley on that pier right there? Or is he... You know what? We're just, we're just gonna go up that thing. Because I'm not entirely sure where he's at. I'm gonna assume he's up here. Moving to your position. Kill him first. On my way. Okay, apparently that thing's in the way, so screw it. I'm in motion. This is why I don't really like the grapple cam, because you have to inch your way forward many times. Where'd she go? I gotcha. Did she get stuck somewhere? She did. I mean, yes, yeah, she's yeah. blind and all, but still. Oh, I can shoot her. Oh, well, there's some news for you. And she's blocking the path, so I can't really kill him. And I'm gonna kill her in the process. Let's try this again. Don't get stuck on the corner this time. There, finally. I'm coming. Penelope! Bentley? Thank you. I was really scared there for a bit. You saved my life. There now. Let's get you inside and make sure that dust has no permanent effects. I am going to be seriously pissed if she can automatically see now. 